Am I the butthole for telling my brother-in-law I'm not his kid's mother? My brother-in-law's, Connor, wife passed away over a year ago. I had a good relationship with her and their two kids. This loss affected everyone. The family got together to help Connor with the kids. He used to live in an apartment he hasn't worked in a year and my in-laws were unable to pay for rent anymore. My husband asked if Connor and the kids could stay with us temporarily. I immediately agreed and found time to get everything ready. Once Connor arrived, he did little to nothing when it came to the kids. I started taking care of the kids' needs because he asked. I handled feeding slash cleaning slash and playing activities. But kids are in constant need of care and attention. Every time his three-year-old asks him to make a sandwich or help with the bathroom or wearing clothes or anything. Connor would point at me and say auntie will do it. I end up taking care of it. Although he got nothing to do. Either on his laptop or sleeping. One time his five yo was calling for him to help him with something in the shower. Connor asked me to go instead. I got annoyed then he shrugged his shoulder saying he'd just ignore him then. Resulting in me handling it. I couldn't ignore it. My husband's is a dentist he's not home always. I work from home but I too am not always available. I made this clear to Connor and he said no problem and will handle it. Yesterday I was in an important meeting. I was in the office. And suddenly my three yo nephew was knocking on the door wanting me to help him because he wet himself. And daddy told him to come to me I had to pause. I ran out and found my nephew sitting on the floor. I cleaned him up and took him to the bathroom. I was kicked out of the meeting since it wasn't the first time I leave. I was mad I went to see what Connor was busy with. He was busy playing an online game and talking to a lady. I asked him and he brushed me off. I unplugged the device and told him his neglect cost that in me a meeting I already told him my work can't be interrupted to take care of the kids while he ignores them and avoid responsibility. He criticized me saying a few minutes won't hurt and brought up how overwhelmed he was and needing help. I snapped. Yelled at him that I'm not his kid's mother. He was staggered. Clearly what I said made him too upset to react. He argued with me then left the house. My in-laws took an issue with what I said. Calling it ghastly callous treatment towards someone that lost his wife so recently. They offer to help but then they make excuses. Saying I need someone to give me a talking to. To learn some empathy for those poor kids. My husband said I was right to be upset but I hurt Connor by what I said and I shouldn't have handled it like that making him feel like he and his kids are a burden. They're expecting to apologize to him. What gets me is that Connor posts pictures of the kids on Facebook talking about how he's making so much effort to keep the kids healthy and happy while I'm the one doing the work. He basically lies and pretends to be a caring parent on Facebook. This made me upset. No idea why he does this. My in-laws don't understand that working from home is also stressful. They claimed it's not real work but I was just making excuses and causing arguments. Not the butthole. Your brother-in-law is neglecting his children. I could give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's depression but I'm going to go out on a limb and assume he doesn't want these children. This isn't going to get better and in fact can only get worse. What about when y'all get fed up with how lazy he is? Are you going to kick them out? I don't see this being a good situation for the kids. I might suggest either you guys fight for custody of the kids or someone else, he isn't fit to be a parent. Not to mention. Him posting pictures of his kids on Facebook and pretending to be a caring dad when in reality op is basically doing everything to take care of the kids. I know many people like this, I call them Facebook parents. Because that's the only time I see any actual parenting from them. My ex-husband is like this. Our youngest doesn't even want to talk to him on the phone anymore, but he still posts how the best thing he ever did in his life was become a dad. Yeah okay buddy, hear your props for not pulling out slash s. He last worked in 2005, meanwhile, I put myself through undergrad, law school, passed one of the hardest bars in the country, worked 50 to 70 hour weeks to support all of us, and was told I cared more about my career than the kids. Only wish I had left him sooner, divorced in 2015. Congratulations on your success and losing the dead weight. Quickest way is not to diet. You are a good mom and your kids know it. If they don't know it now, they will know it eventually to be honest. Worst part is having to pay him alimony I bet. If he responded to the filing then probably, however, 
He didn't, he defaulted, and I got everything I asked for. We didn't own property, he didn't get any custody, and all we had to split was really household goods and two cars, which went to their respective drivers. He was ordered to pay child support, but hasn't and lost his license over it. Glad to hear he lost it. My aunt has always been a single mother. My cousin has never met his real dad he is a few years older than me. She says the Navy basically hid him from her. She tried to contact his unit and leadership but was blown off. She said instead of paying child support he gave up his US citizenship to live in Germany. My cousin is now successful and has his own small family. You are amazing. Cheers to everything you've achieved and will continue to achieve in the years to come. Not going to lie seeing your props for not pulling out actually made me laugh hard, laughing my butt off. On topic, original poster is not the butthole. He might be going through depression, but in no way shape or form should be neglect his children and give you all the work while also taking all the credit. Louisiana? I hear it's a son of a bitch. I was thinking either Louisiana, Washington, or Florida. Her kids are going places with a mother like her. My BF's baby mama is like this. I have been with my boyfriend for almost five years, his kid was three when I met him and he is now eight. In all that time, his mother has only visited with him once. One time in five years. She barely even makes an effort to talk to him on the phone. But yet she posts all over her social media how she misses him so much and she's so happy to be a mom and she loves her kid and blah blah. I don't even think he would recognize her if he saw her walking down the street. I know someone whose kids were put into foster care due to her and his or her father's drug use and neglect. She has seldom worked over the years, but at one point was bragging on Facebook that she got a fast food job with mother's hours of 9 to 2. She didn't have custody of her kids, no chance of regaining custody, but told her employer she needed mother's hours. Total trash people. In many states, if she doesn't make contact for over two years her parental rights can be terminated. There are some parents who like the attention they get for being a parent, others like the idea of being a parent. Neither really wants the day-to-day -day grind of being a parent. It's the day-to-day -day diaper changes, feeding, guidance, interaction, baths, hugs, kisses, bedtime stories, rushing them the hospital to worry non-stop that is the real parenting. There's no glory in it. But one day, they'll tell you they love you for the first time, or they'll thank you for being their mom after a couple of hard weeks. It's getting love back that is the reward for being a real parent. It's the adult children giving their elderly parents the big bear hugs. That is worth all of life itself. Get rid of this butthole. Being let down by his children will raise them to think they aren't worth his love rather than he has none to give. Edit, not the butthole. I call them breeders. He bred children but doesn't bother to fulfill the actual duties of parenting them. Only people who parent their children deserve to be called parents in any sense. Op is not the butthole. Brother-in-law is the butthole to original poster and his own children. My wife calls her bio dad the sperm donor. One of the few times he visited her and her brother, she was riding a bike on the street when someone in a car asked for directions to her house. That is right. Her own dad stopped his daughter and asked for directions to her house and they didn't recognize each other. That's how it would be for my oldest. She's met her bio dad three times her whole life all when she was under three years old. She's seven now. Usually people who are actually parenting are too busy to post about it. Have a family member that did that, he used to send his kids to everyone nearby, usually his sister, for a long time after his wife passed, and then berated everyone for not helping him in his need. Including people who lived seven to eight hour drive away for not coming to his aid. Not as bad anymore as he got a girlfriend who is bit more level-headed than he is. Do you mean he found a girlfriend who was willing to parent his kid for him? My ex is like this. Posts how much he loves his kids and how great of a dad he is. He actually came around to my son's third birthday party this past weekend, my son didn't even recognize him and wanted nothing to do with him. And this is a kid who craves male attention so bad he'll try to run up to random men yelling daddy daddy daddy. My dad once posted a picture about how a father is not someone who conceived a child, but one that raised him. I just asked, like you did me? And all hell broke loose. He's doing a better job now but I'm still annoyed by his crafty parenting in my youth. Not the butthole. 
His wife did all the parenting and he's been searching for a replacement. Five bucks says he'll remarry as soon as possible. I was coming to say the same thing. Those poor children will be dumped with a stepmom as soon as he can line someone gullible up. I know for a fact that my favorite of my father's ex-girlfriends was reluctant to leave him because she loved my brother and I so much. We still talk, she has since moved to a different state but has pictures of the three of us hanging around her house. Ah, you had a unicorn, the opposite of the evil stepmother, broken heart, too bad she couldn't have kept you. That was what my dad did, unfortunately, the lady he lined up had a fondness for corporal punishment. Edit, mixed up corporal and capital. It's the old bait and switch. He's using the kids as bait to land a new relationship and once he traps someone, they'll be taking over the caretaker role for the kids and for Connor. I never heard it put into words like this but you are 100%, correct. Men use the kids as bait. Kids look healthy and happy so he looks like a great caretaker and provider despite surviving the tragedy of losing his wife. Some poor dummy with a great job will fall for it, start dating, develop feelings for him and the kids, all while he avoids questions about what he does for a living and but implying he has a stash of insurance cash. Propose, marry, and voila. New mom for the kids and sugar mama to take care of the bills. I wouldn't be surprised if he acted like this when his wife was still alive as well. I take pictures of him and post them under the ones he posts saying, oh really? Because you spent five hours yesterday playing video games, but I'm petty. Yeah, this is normal stuff for single parents that don't actually want their kids. He wants the attention the kids get, but he doesn't want to do any of the work for them. Up, you need to have a real conversation with your husband about him being kicked out of the house. This will not get better as long as he's living with you, since he has no reason to improve. Just to add, neglect is abuse. He has no effing excuse to be flirting and playing video games and neglecting his children at your expense. I'd start taking notes and video of the abuse because again neglect is abuse. Original poster isn't the one treating the kids like a burden. They're not a burden. Their father is. So true. I was a foster parent at one time. I remember being shocked to find out that the number one reason kids ended up in foster care in my state was neglect. I was shocked because I figured physical and sexual abuse would be. The instructor said no, a lot of the kids were just ignored by their parents and left to fend for themselves until authorities intervened. Now, there were of course deeper issues there like drug abuse etc with the parents slash caretakers. One boy who came to live with us said his mom would give him a sleeve of saltine crackers and that was his food for the week at home. He got to eat breakfast and lunch at school blessedly or he would have pretty much starved. A teacher got involved to get him help. That reminds me of Ally Sheedy's character from The Breakfast Club. She always struck me as the most abused character in that film because she was ignored and her parents didn't care what she did or where she went. Totally agree. At least Judd Nelson's dad remembered his birthday. You might have hurt Connor, but I think Connor needs to be hurt right now. He does not have his priorities, his children, straight and someone needs to make him see that. He hurts his children and that can't go on like this. He may need therapy too. Not the butthole. Edit, I'm so sorry, but he holds you hostage, by your love for the kids. This can't go on like this. Either he steps up or you take legal guardianship of the kids and he moves out alone. I can't imagine what damage the kids already suffered by losing their mom and now being ignored by their dad. Right now, I want to punish Connor in the face on their behalf. Original poster replies. I'm so sorry for taking time to reply. I was busy cleaning. To be quite honest. The house is becoming unbearable. I'm trying to get everything done in a short time it's exhausting. Connor thinks that I cannot say no only because of the kids. He knows that if he ignores them I won't just leave them like that. I feel sorry for them. I adore the kids and treat them as my own but I can't carry that much weight alone. I'm considering having children in the future but right now, I'm having second thoughts. Original poster replies. Connor is always trying to look good in front of others by posting pictures with the kids and pretending that he's helping them getting fed slash dressed slash etc. He is indeed an attention seeker. He is only looking for people to compliment and praise him although he's not even emotionally available for the kids. It's your home. Block his internet access. 
He can get it back when he mans up and takes care of his kids. He wants to act like a child. He can be treated like a child. For up, since not everyone knows so easily how to do this, right click your Wi-Fi icon on your computer and look at property slash settings. You'll need to look for your router's IP address. It'll be something like 192.168.1.1 or something similar. Type in this address in any internet browser. You'll need to know your login settings to access it though. There should be a menu there that allows you to restrict access to your network from certain devices. Unfortunately, the menu will depend on your ISP and I can't help you exactly how to do it, but nowadays, most of these are quite intuitive. Edit, if you want, you can even go as far as to restrict his access during certain times of the day. Only let him use it after his kids went to bed and tell him he can win back his internet privileges by being a decent father. Why so complicated? Just change the Wi-Fi password. This. Can he not go live with his or your parents since they seem to have endless empathy and patience? Not the butthole. Connor should be apologizing to you. Yes, it's terrible that he lost his wife and the children lost their mother, but you're not her. And these are not your kids. And you have to work, he's doing nothing. If your in-laws feel so bad, ask them if he can go and live with them. See how fast they backpedal. The help he needs is counseling and getting off his butt and being parent to his kids. Not yours, his. You and your husband need to have a conversation with him and make sure you're both on the same page. Otherwise, he's going to continue to live there and expect you to raise his kids. If I died and my husband pulled this crap, I'd haunt him. We expect the other to be a great parent to our kid even if one of us dies. Right? My mom got sick when I was 15 and she'd been the sole caretaker of us kids before that. My dad had no idea, or really interest, of how to take care of us so we ended up kind of trying to figure it out on our own. If we'd have been younger, it would have been terrible. I've told my husband that neither of us need to be capable of doing all of the work alone, but each of us need to be capable of each part of the work so that if one of us gets sick slash dies, or even extended work stuff, but of course I'm going to focus mostly on what I experienced our kids have someone to lean on. I would be less angry if he moved in with someone new the day after I died than I would if he pulled this crap. These kids lost two parents, if he ever was involved to begin with. Was your mom also taking care of your dad before she died? Because that's what I'm guessing happened with Ops Bill, the wife had been treating him like one of her children. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, Please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.